Father God, we come to you this morning just lifting up your name to tell you thank you. Thank you, God, because you're the greatest God ever. There's nobody like you. Father, we come this morning asking in humble submission to you that you prepare our hearts and our minds and our soul for you, Father God. Father, we have nothing to fear but you, Father. Father, you told us in your word in, in, in the book of Timothy that you don't give us the spirit of fear, but you give us a sound mind. You give us love and peace, Father God. So we know that fear is from Satan, Father God. And we come, Father God, asking you if we have any fear in our heart that you would help us remove it, Father God, because we know that it's a trick of Satan, Father God. We have nothing to fear because we are your child and you will protect us throughout our lifetime, Father God. As long as we walk with you and talk with you, Father God, you will keep us under your wing, Father God, and we thank you, Father God. Father, let us not Fear the changes that you make in our lives, Father God. Change is good, Father, especially when it comes from you, Father. Continue to change our mind thought from circular to spiritual, Father God. We need to keep our minds stayed on you. We want our minds stayed in perfect peace, especially when we go through, Father God, especially when trials and tribulation of life is so heavy on us, Father God. Change our minds to know that we have nothing to fear during those times, Father God. We only have to look to you, which cometh our help because our help comes from you. We can hold on to your hand, Father God. As a matter of fact, your hands are so big, Father, all we have to do is stretch ours to you and you will take it, Father God. And you won't let us go, even when we don't feel anything. Father, we being humans are so set on feeling you and feeling the Holy Spirit and feeling this and feeling that. But God, as long as you are in our heart and on our minds, we know that you are with us and we thank you for it, Father God. There is none like you, Father God. We have nothing to fear, Father God. As you make changes in our church, Father God, we don't have to fear what's coming, Father. We can stay at our church and continue to be fed your word and continue to love on one another, Father God, and work with the leader, Father God. Father, if we could only imagine what the leader is going through, Father, struggling with the release of one and struggling with the acceptance of another, Father God. Father, this is no easy tactic for these men that you have placed over us, Father. And I pray right now, Father God, that you would keep them also, them and their families, Father God, because as they try and raise us spiritually, they have to raise their families, Father, here on earth. So Father, continue to give them the greatest wisdom of all. Continue to lead them and guide them, Father, that they may lead us and guide us in such a way that you would be proud, Father God. Then, Father God, as we learn new things from the new leader, Father God, I pray right now that you would give us instructions individually, Father, as well as corporately, Father, how you would have us to walk, how you would have us to go, Father God. Let us, that our season saints, not be afraid to change our ways from the way we used to do things to the way things are going to be done, Father God. Because no matter what's going to be done, you will let no hurt, harm, and danger overtake us, Father God. As long as we have faith, you told us if we had the faith of a mustard seed, that that thing that we're requesting will be. Father God, let us stand on your word. We know your word, Father God. It's a matter of applying your word and seeing that what you say is real. It's a matter of going 
forth in your word, Father God. It's not a matter of, of worrying about harm man could do because what can man do? They could take this body, but God, as long as we have you in our souls, hallelujah, we are safe in your arms. Father, we thank you and we praise you for all the changes that you're going to do. We thank you and we praise you that you are preparing us even now, even before we knew about the changes you were preparing us, Father. Father, let us stand fast. Let us be unmovable. Let us continue to wear the whole armor that you have given us. Help us to put on the helmet of salvation every day, Father God. Help us to walk with our feet shod with peace, Father. Help us to keep the belt of truth girded around us, Father God, that we will speak truth and your word is the truth that we will speak, Father God. Guard our hearts, Father God. Let us take the shield of faith, Father God, and hold on to the sword of the spirit, Father God. Your word, your word is the answer no matter what. Your word, Father God. Oh, Lord, we love you and we praise you. We lift you up, Father God. Father, we have things that we are personally concerned about, Father God, that we don't know the outcome, and in our humanness, Father, we're, we're concerned about those things that's going on. So I lift up Letitia, Father God. Her mother was given a double dose of uh, sickness, Father God, and I pray that you, Father, would come and touch her with the fingertip of your love, Father God, that healing fingertip, Father, that will heal her mother, not just her mother, Father God, but also everyone with the sickness of COVID, with the sickness of cancer, and with uh, bones that separating, Father God. Father, you created each and every one of us. You know where everything is supposed to be placed. COVID, cancer, diabetes, any type of sickness has no room in our bodies. Father, you can take and you can touch us. And with that finger of love, Father God, you will remove the sugar out of diabetes. You will remove the infection out of COVID. Father, and you can remove the germs of cancer. You have so many living testimonies regarding diabetes and cancer. And even COVID, Father, everyone that contracts COVID doesn't past, Father God. You have sent doctors with healings, Father God, for us, and we thank you for that, Father God. Father, we just be more concerned about the aged, Father God, because their bodies are not what they used to do. I pray right now, Father God, that you would uh, increase Letitia's uh, business, Father. Let her love for you be fruit for her business, Father God. I pray right now, Father God, that Ms. Cheryl would like return, like us to return to our responsibilities refreshed before you in Jesus' name, Father God. Everybody under the sound of my voice can return to their responsibilities towards you. Everybody under the sound of my voice can be healed. Everybody under the sound of my voice can minister. They can witness for you, Father God. Father, we pray for Minister Odo and his family, Father God. Father, as his mother goes through whatever, Father God, you know everything about her. And I pray right now, Father God, that you will heal her also, Father God. Then touch Minister Odo from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, that he worry not, because you told us be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let our requests may be made known. So, Father, as we come this morning, letting our requests be made known, Father, I pray for your uh, fulfillment of everything that is asked, Father God. We're praying for the children that are returning back to school, Father God. Cover them like never before. Cover them from the violence, Father God, in the classroom where they're to be learning, Father God. Cover them, Father God, from all sickness and disease, Father God. I pray for more parents to yield and listen to 
what their children are saying to them, Father God, and not telling them to go play a video game or go sit down, Father God, because it is what the children, what comes out of a child's mouth is very important, Father God. I pray, Father God, for transportation for Kim in the name of Jesus, Father God. Provide transportation for her. Get her to and from those places that she need to go safely, Father God. Father, Miss Betty, we want to just thank you for another day, Father. We all want to just thank you for another day. And now, Father God, as we open our mics, Father God, just to praise you, just to lift you up, just to continue to Hallelujah. say we love you. Oh, and Lord. thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you Lord. Lord. Father, In the name Father, of Jesus, Father, 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 thank you, Father God. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank, you, Lord. 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 thank, thank you, Lord. for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. I just thank you for your holy God. Thank you, Father. We magnify you. We magnify you.